Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here tonight. Maybe we just kick off with a brief intro. This is really hotly anticipated this next season. What can fans expect? Um, what they're going to see uh, a, a lot of uh, monsters, a lot of action, and they're going to see a found family coming together. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And what spe specifically is going to be happening for your character? Um, well, uh, usually with my character, he shows up when, when Geralt needs a, a hand and uh, or a warhammer. And uh, I think you're going to see a lot of that. A lot of uh, uh, Yarpin and his gang of dwarves uh, help out. Something that really strikes me when I watch this show, it's just, you know, how tangible everything feels. You know, we, we sort of live in a world of, you know, CGI overload sometimes. But the sets, the production values, it's all just so incredible. What is it like performing on those sets and what were some of the highlights of the season? Um, well, it's, it's, it is incredible, and uh, I think a lot of it is practical as well. Like, we go to these locations a lot of the times, and, and uh, in season one, we were looking on top of a mountaintop into a sunset. None of that was CGI. We were all up there looking at that, that mountaintop um, and, and watching the sunset, and, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I think getting to be immersed in it, it takes all the acting out of it in a way, and you just get to, to be in it. And, and for this season, I, I think uh, uh, in episode one, we, we talk uh, about Sherawed. Um, so we have a lot of elven ruins, and there's a, a beautiful set um, that we got to be a part of and uh, have a great fight scene in. And so I'm really excited for the fans to see that. It's a wonderful moment in the books, and I think we do a great job here in the uh, show. And such an incredible cast and spending all that time together. And of course, as you mentioned just there, how about Henry, you know, this is kind of his last installment. Was it all a bit emotional? And what was it like working with all these amazing people? Um, well. Uh, I think Henry announced that he was leaving the show after after we, we finished rapping. Um, but but when we heard it, it was uh, uh, you know it hit you. Um, but um, we're we're excited for the show to come out. We're excited to celebrate with one another and and really looking forward to um, what's going to happen in season four. And I was interested in what you were saying there earlier about representation and why is that so important? It does feel like it's a hotly contested topic, you know, when we're, when we're talking about any kind of characteristics. So why is representation important and who plays which characters still still counts for something? Well, in regards to little people, um, a lot of people are like, why, why did they cast that person? They, they've never done anything before. It's because little people don't tend to get the opportunities that everybody else gets. And you're not going to get the opportunities if people don't see you on screen. They don't uh, see your credits on your resume. And so the more opportunities you get, the, the, the better you are to, to get better as a performer, but also to get known and get seen because that's the only way that you're going to continue on in your career. So the opportunities are really important, especially for even if you're not a, a little person who wants to be an actor, you're seeing somebody up there be strong and, and stand toe to toe with all these other people. And it's, it's, it's very heartwarming to know that, that it, things like that are possible and you feel seen. And I think that is incredibly important, whether it's your size or your race or where you're from. And what do you hope people take away from watching this this installment? It's definitely a lot about family. Um, there's a lot about you know testing that idea of neutrality. What do you think the takeaways will be? Well, I, I think that found found family element is going to be incredibly important this season, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it all comes together and uh, and how Uncle Yaskier fits into all of that as well. Uh, it's it's really exciting, and as a fan of the the books and and of the show, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how it comes together on screen. Yeah, I think it's going to be, in my opinion, it's the best one yet. Well, absolutely. I think representation is incredible. Uh, and I think it's very important because if you can't see yourself on, on screen or on stage or anything like that, you don't feel like it's possible. So as for little people, when, when you get to see that and see them not just be there, not be a butt of a joke, but they're up there, they're fighting, they're, they're just as tough as the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the guys, uh, I think that's really important because it gives you a chance um, to, to look and see, I can do that. And I think that's really important, especially for the arts and the industry. Uh, absolutely. I have a lot of good time. I got a trusty Warhammer with me. I got a, a wonderful dagger that uh, the uh, uh, master of, of props and, and uh, uh, armor uh, kind of developed. Uh, yeah, so I get in on the fray and uh, help him out. And, and I'm really excited to see where we go with it. Well, I, I think he hasn't been shy of the fact that he knows a lot about uh, the, the character and the books. And, and I think uh, for me, I've done the same thing. I was a fan of the books before I even auditioned. And so getting to play Yarpin, who is my favorite character in the books, is very exciting. And I can see, see where Henry comes with that, being a fan of, of playing the games and reading the books and everything. And uh, yeah, no, I, I think their, their uh, relationship in the show is, is very much a kinship because they're both monster hunters. They're both a little bit surly. They're both um, not fully understood. And, and I think they, they have an understanding with each other. So Geralt doesn't have a whole lot of friends, but I, I think he, you can count Yarpin among them. I think uh, for me, like he speaks up for his people. 
Um, and so he has that rough and rough uh, demeanor, and people are like, why is he so angry? But uh, as we got to see a little bit in Blood Origin, the prequel show, there's a reason why he's angry. And a lot of his people don't like to speak up. And I think he feels like he has to represent them. And uh, he sees some of his people being disrespected. He's going to jump up and then knock them down to his level. Um, well, there's a lot of stuff I'm really excited to seeing. Uh, one of my favorite parts of uh, Baptism of Fire, which is the next book, is another uh, dwarf character named Zoltan. And I have no idea what they're going to develop, what we're going to be doing, but it'd be really exciting uh, to, to see a lot of what's called the Hansa uh, in a, um, translate on screen. And I've worked with Liam before. We, we did a, a TV show called uh, Most Dangerous Game. Uh, and so he's a wonderful guy, and I think he's got a lot to bring to the character. And I know he's working his butt off, and it's going to be exciting. Well, I, I think he, he tries to, to bring the physicality into the character as well. Um, he thinks about the character, about um, how they're handling everything, what the, the, they need to go through, and, uh, and he really puts it in physically. I know, that, like, I know some fans are a little bit worried that is it going to be the same Geralt when it's a different person physically, but, but Liam does not hold back when, he, when he's working in a character, uh, especially when it comes to physicality. So, yeah, no, I'm really excited. It's the best one yet. You're going to love it.